YouTube welcome back to my channel and as you can see I left everything on my table of course because I'm not gonna clean it up and then you know take it all back out and continue so that's how far I am <laughs> I know absolutely far but I'm just taking you with me on my journey you know like what I am doing and what I am thinking <laughs> So I have this strip here and I went through my papers you see I, I did not glue it just because I figured I can stick something on there so I went through the papers from the same paper pad still and then I found those little kitties right here <laughs> and they adorable and I thought they would look great on a little paper uh, clip you know, so I went ahead and I just fussy cut a couple of them, but I feel like the paper is very flimsy. So I decided that I want to actually stick them onto some cardstock, which I'm going to do right now and let them dry while I continue doing something else. No clue. You know, the thing is, before I started to videotape, I was sitting there and just thinking, oh, I want to continue crafting now, you know, I want to craft more. What do I craft? And then I just had no idea how to continue because um, you probably understand. You have so many thoughts about what you want to put in there and then your brain goes just empty. So I decided to just start because that's just how I work. I don't know. I just can't make the plan. So that's why I'm just starting out right here and I'm pretty sure the ideas will come. And look, I have the same needle for the normal glue for glossy accent and it does not rust, but this one does. So I don't know what the problem is, but somebody told me to look for, um, I forgot. I forgot the name of the things. <laughs> But I know what you said, so I'm still going to look for those. I'm pretty sure my daughter must have some. So I will ask her and see if it works better. I said her, I'm sorry, I just forgot what you call them. They are not thumbnails. Like they have a little piece to hold on on the top. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to let this just dry for a second while I'm going to figure out what to do. And... I wanted to, good thing my stamps are organized, I wanted to also look through my stamps because sometimes there are really cool things inside, you know, <laughs> you can stamp and color. So let me see like closet and, you know, indoors if there is anything I would like to No, But I know for a fact that I do have some unicorns here. You see, this one is very pretty. So I'm going to just make myself a list of some stamps I might use so I can take them out, stamp them for myself, and then um, maybe use in the project, but I need to color them out, right? So that's why I would like to just look and see whatever would look good on there. You know, I don't know. I know that the unicorn is pretty good. There is more unicorns. I wonder if I have like little ones or something. I could, I could actually do this one. Okay, you know what? I need to write it down. And since I don't have anything else, <laughs> it's gonna go here. F to B and M to B. And incredibly, the M to B has a die. I like that. Okay, then I will just look what else is here that might be useful. And you can look with me. I believe this is the last page. Yeah, so that's the last page. I don't think I'm going to put any people. I don't think this one has like mermaids or anything like that. The paper pad. No, but it does have rainbows. And what is in here? Okay, so it does have rainbows. Rainbows is good. Rainbows will be probably outdoors. Oh no, this rainbow says happy birthday, but I could just cut it off, which is okay. Oh look, this rainbow is really cool. 
I like this one. This one is really cool too. <laughs> Isn't this one adorable? But I think I would go with this one. So once you organize your stamps, I'm telling you it's going to be so easy for you to find your stuff without getting up, walking up to your stamps. You know, if you sit here and craft, you can actually just look through the whole thing and um, find the stamps you like. And I just threw it up because I was filming that. I actually have the F. Oh, this is an F2B as well. So F2 and B. So it's right here. Look how fast I am. So this is just incredible. Did I write down this one? But this one is really cool. So there is both. So they were both in the same um, stamp bag. But I don't know that when I see look through my stamps. But it doesn't matter anyways. So I do like this one. I do also like this one. And I'm thinking about maybe making paper clip or another rosette or something like that. So I will go ahead and stamp those for myself and color them out and fussy cut them. But I'm not going to color them like on video because... It just takes up too, too much time, I guess. I don't know. But just to show you what the process will be, so I will stamp those for myself and just color them. So have them ready, basically. Now, my glue has dried, and yeah, this feels much sturdier right away. And I'm just going to fussy cut those little kitties because it's going to be easy. They are cut already. So I'm going to just um, do that. And then I will look for a paper clip or two. Actually, three. <laughs> I hope it looks good, but I think it does. I think it does. They are just so cool. And what I want to do is just with my leftover ink on this sponge, I will go around it because you know, it kind of gives it more edge to it. I don't know how to... How do you call this? Is there a name for that? Like what it does? You can just see it better. I don't know if you can, but I can. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do with all three of those. Okay. I did it. I fussy cut them all. And I took the tiny paper clips. You know, that's, this is just the normal one. Because the kitties are super small, so if I take like a huge paper clip, it's not going to look good. And then I just took the leftover black paper so I can cover it up in the back, which I think is a good idea so you don't see all the mess. Now, first of all, <laughs> and trust me, it happened to everybody. And, you know, people can say whatever they want to say, but it happened to everybody. Make sure that your paper clip is in the right direction. <laughs> right? It happened to me, so it happened to you. I bet it did. So I will just line it up kind of in the middle, push it down, put some hot glue right there, stick my black piece right here you know it just covers up the mess i guess and then some glue came out of course but that's not a problem because we can just put it away you see the backing is kind of looking better but this is a really good paper clip i think it's cute okay and i will make sure that they are the right way around all the time because I can just guess that they are right. So let's do the second one just like that. And that's why I never toss my leftovers. At least it doesn't matter how small they are. Well, I would probably toss this small one, but everything else, it does not really matter how small it is. While I'm working on the project, I'm not tossing it because you never know when you will need a tiny piece of paper. And then I do not want to cut into the big piece, which I could use for something bigger, you know. So, <laughs> how adorable are they? 
look <laughs> I think they are adorable but I really want to glitter them up a little bit and I'm still like using my almost empty wing of Stella because even though it's empty it's still not empty you know what I mean it still glitters everything up I don't know if you can tell you probably can't oh can it oh yeah you can <laughs> so as long as it does that I'm going to use it but I do have a couple as backup already because I'm not living my life without Wink of Stella <laughs> for sure okay and I think those two are like guys and this is a little girl so I'm going to give her little bows I just decided to do that and what kind of bows will I give her let's see I'm just looking for the color because I have this leftover paper here and this piece I cannot use but I can still use it for a bow <laughs> and that's all I need I'm gonna give her a little tiny bow right there <laughs> so she looks like a girl right yeah that's what I'm gonna do for this I'm going to use just a little bit of glue right here Oop. oh you hear my doggy because my doggy heard another doggy outside so you know they communicate like that <laughs> okay let's put some oh oh it's still moving it's okay we'll manage put some wink of stella on there and put a little jam on top because why not right why not but this i will use um glossy accent because i know the gems they will fall off Whoa! glossy accent is the hardest thing to take the needle out but <coughs> excuse me okay right here Ooh, i'm gonna leave it here because i might do something else let's see if i do have some tiny tiny ones i know that my friend arlene sent me some but I think they are gone already, but I do have those pearls. Okay, I'm gonna use a pearl. Ooh, I don't wanna use the pearl because I don't have that many. <laughs> you know, like, but I want to. Oh yeah, she looks pretty. That's exactly what I wanted. And now I'm kind of thinking because they have sunglasses, I might just put some glossy accent on the actual glass part, you know, the black one, to make it look like glass. Oh yeah, that works pretty good. I'm so slow. Am I slow? I'm just trying to get things you know done good <laughs> that's why I'm so slow that's just how I am I enjoy crafting very much so it's very different though you know I had a time where I just started the started my YouTube channel and for a while I just couldn't relax crafting was not relaxing for me anymore kind of because I was busy thinking like what do I have to tell you? You know, when I was making a video, I, I thought, uh, what do I have to say? What do I have to show? But I don't think about that anymore, actually. <laughs> All I do is craft and talk. You see that? Isn't that much cooler? I mean, compare those two. Without and with. Much cooler, isn't that? I think it is. And the little girl right here. <laughs> so... I'm thinking about sticking the paper clips right here in front. I can do so with the girl just because she doesn't have to dry. But you see, 
just like that. I think it's a dwarfs. <laughs> she got a little bow. But I have to leave them out here to dry for a little bit. And while they are drying, I will probably just go ahead and stamp myself some stuff. Okay, so I did stamp my little images and I learned to stamp two of each. <laughs> two of each I want to use because once you color, you might do something wrong. <laughs> so those two have dried, but I want to do something else real quick just because while I was doing that, I was thinking about it. I wanted to see how it looks like. If I just use, I even have some leftover tool here already. So let me just cut it into, because I had the leftover tool here and I was just thinking, I don't want to toss it, but I also kind of don't want to put the little pieces into my storage and I thought, what if I could just, you know, put them on here? And I also took out this one earlier, so I could use this one as well and just make myself some, I don't know, a little tool banner, <laughs> I guess you would call it. I don't know. I need longer scissors. I need to look for those. So that's going to be too long. So I'm going to cut this one in half as well. I dislike cutting tool. I don't know. Okay. You know, I would just like fold them like this, I guess, and stick them on the bottom of this black one and just, you know, do a pink one and then one with the hearts and then do a pink one. Let's see what happens, right? So... Let's hope it will turn out how I want it to turn out. You know. I guess once I'm done, I will have to put like a strip of something or a ribbon or whatever, just to cover up all the glue because I really don't want it to be visible there. Now with this tool, I have to pay attention to, you know, because it only has the glitter hearts from one side. So I don't want them to be inside. I will just click, stick this very close to the one I just did. And I wish I had like other colors different colors of tool but I only have white and then another color which does not go with this one as at all but look maybe something like that and of course I'm going to cut them down so they won't stay that long something like this but I think it's a cool idea you know just for decorating the front a little bit now, of course, I'm going to make more tool leftovers here, <laughs> but that's okay with me because I like it. And if I like it, I'm going to do that. And this is going to take a little while because, you know, I'm going to go one by one. I don't like to make, you know, like if possible, I do not like to make a long line of hot glue. First of all, it's you know, it tends to cool off really quick and then it's not that good anymore. <laughs> it's bulky and it it is frustrating and upsetting. And second thing is this way I can just line up everything how I want to and I have enough time to do so because I only have to concentrate on one little spot, one little dot of glue I'm making and then I'm sticking my tool there. So, and I'm just going to go and do it to the whole thing. And I will also pay attention that I'm not gluing this part down. I mean, I could right here because I still can stick everything on there. But I will try and pay attention to that. And I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing till I'm done. <laughs> Makes sense, right? 
Okay, let me see. So, so Michelle is trying to get Luna on the treadmill. I tried the other day and she, she went on there. <laughs> I posted a short video on my Facebook or in my Facebook group, not on my actual Facebook. I don't really have an actual Facebook, which I update. I'm trying to figure out what am I doing here? How am I cutting this one? Because it's too long. Um, I don't really have my own Facebook. Like, I, I just don't update anything. <laughs> I'm not like that. But in the group, Fun Life of, on a Budget featuring Bestie Becky, um, I do update sometimes about Luna. <laughs> about Luna or something like that, <laughs> you know. So... You're welcome to join if you want to. I am pretty sure I have a link down in the description. Actually, I think I linked it in each of my videos now. I worked hard on that. <laughs> my video descriptions and putting them into playlists just to make it easier for everybody to find a certain video if you're looking for it. I'm pretty sure most of my videos are really good organized in playlists now. I tried my best and I had to go back to the beginning to do so. <laughs> and I have made, I don't know, I think like 500 videos. Can you believe that? I made 500 videos or something like that. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? I'm making videos all the time. Just because I'm crafting a lot or hauling or, you know... <laughs> sharing something okay those little glue strings here i just upsetting but i will take care of them later okay i think you don't have to watch me do that you know like throw the whole thing so i'm just gonna finish this part right here and as you can see, this tool is organized as well. And this one is shorter, the piece of paper, and this one is longer, just because, you know, you can do it however you want, however length you got, you know? Because if I have a longer or a wider piece of tool, I'm going to take a wider piece of paper. And that's the really, really, really good thing about this organization. You can just do what you need to do it's not pre-made for you you know if you don't know what i'm talking about it's my ribbon organization i do have video about that and it's in my i believe planning and organizing plan uh, playlist but nobody has um the say in what you need to do to get it organized you can do it for yourself for how it works for you so that's a good thing <sighs> about that okay didn't i just cut off myself some more okay i'm going to finish this real quick and then be back whoa <laughs> that definitely took a little longer than i thought it would but it's turning out really cute i think i wish i had longer scissors but i don't that's why i'm going to try and cut it more or less straight you know it's tall it doesn't have to be super straight you know so but i want it to be kind of the same length here if i can oh, this is gonna be so fun <laughs> because i can use everything and anything you know i can use girly stuff like tool just because this paper pad seems to have it all like it has unicorns, but it has flowers and it has gold and it has like kitties, you know, it just has so many different things. So I can actually use so many different things. And I would like to see what kind of ribbon I have that might go with the whole thing. Hmm. Okay, I do have some sequin right here. Ooh, that could be cool. 
see I don't care what it is everything goes on paper <laughs> or on cardstock <laughs> so everything is kind of organized on cardstock let me see so this would be too short to cover the whole thing up that's why I would look for something to put underneath what can we put underneath do we have anything like bluish there I don't know. Let me check. Okay, I'm gonna go with this white one just because it is a little thicker, you know, and I will put it on top to cover up everything on there. And I'm going to do this with my hot glue, and I will try to do this really good in a straight line not using too much again you know just just enough you see I just want to cover up the whole you know mess <laughs> the whole mess underneath <laughs> and Really, I do not do not need much of the glue at all. Otherwise, it's going to come out. And it did already right there. Okay. That's more or less. Definitely looking better than it was. I love this. <laughs> My finger guard. Okay. So that's on there. Now I can go ahead and put the gold on there. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to start out right here with just one tiny bit of glue. And I will try and not to put too much glue on there. <clears throat> How am I doing that? I want to be careful. I want to keep it in one direction. I want to have it straight. I want to have just a teeny, tiny dots of glue here and there. So there is a lot of things I want to do. <laughs> Very important thing is to try and keep it straight. Okay, I don't need this one for now. All I want is like teeny tiny little bits of glue. That's gonna be so pretty. And you know, like in the first episode I said, Okay, that's the bag. The bag is done. <laughs> I guess I lied because the bag was not done. I don't know if the bag will be done soon. You know, like you get all your ideas later, right? Okay. Did that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut right here the leftover. And once you are done with your craft... You can just put your ribbon back on and put your elastic back on and you're done and organize it in your, in your Aries box or something. So now my, my dear, dear, dear bestie sent me some fray jack, which I'm going to put on the sides when I cut them off straight right here. Done. Put a little bit of fright check right there. See, all I did is just cut it off. And now I will do the same thing to this piece. Just cut it off. Put some fright check on that. 
done. Oh my goodness, look. I know there's like all the glue strings still on there, but it doesn't matter because I will take them away. I can just use my heat gun. Actually, I can do it now real quick. Alrighty, so, so far so good. Done with that part. What did I actually do? <laughs> oh, I made the paper clips. I don't know what I did all the time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what was I doing? Making the little kitties right here. You know, the big ones, the small ones, the lady and the gentleman's. I don't know, um, gentleman, I'm sorry. I don't know why I made two guys. Whoa, Cam. I made two guys and a girl. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know if they are going to stay on there or if I'm going to put them somewhere else. But to me, right now, all that matters is that I finished this part. Oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> I think this is cool. <laughs> it kind of gives it something. <laughs> and I have an idea for this part actually as well. But we will see. For now, I would say I'm done. Just because my videos are always that long. But you said you liked my craft with me videos. At least a couple with you of you too. So we will craft step by step. And the good thing is you have enough time to craft with me, right? <laughs> so, some of you did purchase this paper pad from me, or the, not the pad itself, but the sample cuts. So it's time for you to get them out and use them, right? You can use them for the same project I do. I do not mind ever if you just, you know, duplicate my craft. Because if you are a beginner, it's much easier to just um, copy something or try to copy something just to get a feel of crafting, I guess. So I don't mind that as long as you don't say that, you know, it was your idea, I guess. Well, even then, whatever. <laughs> okay, I think now it's straight enough and I think it's cool. It's so cute. I want to, you know what, let me do this real quick as well. Just because my heat gun is, my glue gun is hot already. So, I thought it's going to look better when I put a bow onto my wand. And all I'm going to do is just, you know, to fold it a little bit, shape it a little bit, I guess. And then use my glue. And you know what? Just for the sake of the video, or you know, just so it goes quicker right now, I'm going to use some hot glue on that. <laughs> I normally never do. And then I'll just stick this one on top. Do you know? Fold this one over. Wow, it's enough glue to to make the whole thing. That's good. You know, it's not bulky or anything. And there is my little bow. And because I want the bow to be a little fluffier, I will just put something inside, preferably something round, and just, you know, move it a little. And there it is, my little bow. And I want to put it right on top of here. And because at the same time I have to glue the outside right here, this little part, I will try and do it at the same time. Fold it over there and then just stick it into the glue. Okay, get it folded over there. I think it's gonna look better that's that's all look with a little bow and then the strings here I think it looks much better and I also want a big jam right there somewhere let's see what we got something really big 
because this one is pink. Let's see. See, I want more of those because then I don't have to mix them up with um, different things. And I could actually just use them for wine, one kind. See, now to, just to get a pink one, I have to search. But I would like to not to. Let me see. Those came from AliExpress. <laughs> Look how adorable they are. Big, pretty, blingy. And I will just put this one right in the middle of my gold bow. Alrighty, so much better, isn't that? What do you think? I think it's much better now. Yeah, I definitely think it's much better now. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. And with that made, I will say that's it for this part. And I really hope you enjoy it and like it and craft with me. Please let me know if somebody is crafting with me when I'm crafting this. Please let me know if somebody is crafting the same thing with me. <laughs> I would love to know. I just love to know what you guys are doing when I'm on TV. <laughs> okay, so if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it very much. Share and subscribe. And there will be more. I will do everything and anything I do for a loaded bag until I'm finished. So prepare yourself <laughs> um, and just enjoy your day, I would say, right? So I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.